He may look relaxed, but much already weighs upon the shoulders of John Kerry, the new US Secretary of State. His arrival in Rome heralds what could be a shift in America's policy towards one of the most pressing of those issues, the conflict in Syria. Mr Kerry is on his first major foreign tour in his new role. Before he arrived in Italy, he told a news conference in Paris that a negotiated solution to the crisis was needed and he'd seek guidance from the Syrian opposition on how to achieve this. We want their advice on how we can accelerate the prospects of a political, uh, a political solution because that is what we believe is the best path to peace, the uh, best way to protect the interests of the Syrian people, the best way to end the killing and the violence. Officials say this means Washington is considering giving more direct humanitarian and non-lethal support to opposition fighters in Syria. The idea? To amplify the message from Western leaders to the Syrian government that it has only two options, negotiate or collapse. But it's weapons the Syrian rebels want. This unverified footage shows the apparent shelling of a village near the city of Hama. Rebel fighters are growing increasingly frustrated by the lack of help they're getting to confront President Assad's formidable military machine. More unverified video posted online depicts what's described as the aftermath of an airstrike on an eastern suburb of Damascus. President Assad says his country is in a fight for its future against terrorist forces. Those living in the path of the bombs are simply trying to survive. The talks in Rome seem a long way from the fear, panic and anger that define the lives of so many Syrians as this relentless conflict rages on. Andrew Wilson, BBC News.